Chip Fent with Polk Runs America Magazine, and I'm here with Steve Stepp, the owner of Velocity Powerboats, and we're here to discuss his new 290 Sport Cruiser. Steve, can you tell me a little bit some of the finer points of your, uh, your new model here? Well, we've been making this for, for a few years, but what we did, we took our uh, VR1 hull that we... You know, World hold, famous. Yeah, we do a lot of race with, you know, great turning boat, great safety boat. And of course, we hold the uh, world record in F1 class. We've held it, you know, several years and raised it up to three different classes. So we took that hull and wanted to make it more of a sports cruiser, family orientated. So we built this deck to give a little bit more headroom, so we can have an enclosed head down below. Uh, I've got a little galley unit in there, so it makes a you know family of four can do an overnight in it. Now this is primarily a single engine uh, inboard inboard outboard boat. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Most of the boats we sell are with it, like the 425 or 430 Merc cruisers, single engine. And it's still 70 mile hour plus with that motor in it, and of course this one has a 525 in it. And Steve, how fast do you, does this boat actually run? Well, we're still playing with it, but it runs 85. That's plenty fast for a single engine. And what's this boat weigh? Somewhere around 5,000 pounds? Yeah, just under 5,000 pounds has come in on the weight. And keep in mind the boat's how big? 29 feet long, 5,000 pounds. 525, 85 miles an hour, that's nice math. Yeah, you can surprise a lot of people because most people don't expect a boat that big with that much room and that big of a cabin and that much uh, space down in the, inside the cabin to run anywhere close to that speed. What's your target market with this boat? It's a high performance family boat. You know, it's not necessary for somebody who just wants a cruiser, but uh, a gentleman that still wants to go, go fast, but still wants to take his family with him and, and be safe. You know, we, we don't do steps on the bottom, we don't do notches and all that stuff. We do a pad with a step transom, and that's the safest way to go. But we supply the customer with a very efficient boat, but a very safe boat, but he can take his family with him. Steve, I've noticed with this dashboard and this helm station right now, you have two positions for this electric bolster, which I'm now standing in so I can stand ergonomically correct, still see the balcony over the windscreen. And then I guess this is a, the powered hydraulic that lifts the, the seat base up and gives me a nice place to sit and still have a place to rest my feet. Yeah, and that way too you can control the height besides sitting down. So if I wanted to actually lean back and in the seat feel very comfortable, I feel like I'm, I'm home. Yeah, we try to locate the steering wheel too. It's high up on the dashboard, and of course we can still raise it up higher, but try to get it up to where an average, say six, per, six foot person, that their hands is up high so that it controls their weight, but it's, you know, it's a good ergonomic place to be. Then we try to have the seat height of the uh, bolster to where you can look over the windshield, or when you're sitting down, you're actually looking barely over the windshield, but the wind's going over your head. Still deflected over my head. Yeah, so you're not in the wind all the time, so the windshield's actually doing, doing some uh, a job for you to you know, get you out of the wind some. You know, Steve, I noticed with the throttles, we have overrides for the trim and tabs, as well as the drive, but I'm still able to reach individual switches up on the dashboard, very conveniently located close to my throttle. You guys did a beautiful job ergonomically of laying this uh, helm station out, Steve. Well, we've been working at it for several years, trying to make it safe and, and comfortable, and, and we also try to make the uh, port side where the whoever's riding on the on the port side of the boat, but, you know, we put two handles on them. We put two foot rest. Depends on where you're tall or where you're short or where you're sitting down or where you're standing. You up. know, you say you've been so doing this for you say you've been doing this for a while. You've been doing it almost how many years? That's my fiftieth year in the marine business, but thirty-three years building offshore boats. <laughs> We've been through this new Velocity 29SC from stem to stern, and. I'm really excited to take this boat for a ride, but do I understand this boat's going to the Miami International Boat Show, and then when it's done, you're delivering this boat to the new owners, Jim and Susan Kimmel of upstate New York? That's correct. Well, yes. they're going to they're gonna be really excited to get the, this new boat up there. Hey, good luck, and we'll see you at the Miami International Boat Show. And uh, Okay, Chip, take, I appreciate it. Well, Thank let's take you. this thing for a ride. Okay, let's go. Hey Steve, it's been a blast taking you new 29 uh, SC for a ride on the lake today. Jim and Susan Kimmel, good luck with your new boat. This is going to be an awesome ride for you up in the uh, upstate New York. And good luck to you guys at the Miami Boat Show. We'll see you All down right. there. Okay, on behalf Jim. Of Folk Runs America. We'll see you later. Okay, thank you. Hey, I'm out of here.